Hey, what's up, guys? So today, I'm going to be giving you all a little walkthrough of CompSim. I'm going to show you how to get started with it and give you an idea of what it looks like in practice. Now, if you haven't seen my announcement video yet, I'd recommend you check that out by clicking the link down below. Um, I'll also have a link to the official CompSim website, which is compsim.net, and a link to download the app itself, which should be tinyurl.com slash CompSim download. That being said, let's get right into it. So CompSim um, is a professional speed cubing competition simulator. So it's different from a regular timer. Uh, with CompSim, you're doing averages of five, means of three, or best of three, um, depending on the event you're doing, uh, just like an official competition. But in many ways, it does work like a normal cubing timer, but you'll see it has its unique features as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set your target if you're just starting. So um, let's say, you know, you average around 12 or 13 and you want to beat 12. Great. So now what's going to happen is if you beat this, you're going to get a green average. Otherwise, it'll be red. And that's going to play a big role in motivating your practice with CompSim. Let's take a look at how the timer itself works. So here in this CompSim view is where you can solve pretty much similar to a normal cubing timer. So you have your scramble up here and you just tap and your inspection starts by default if that's on. Um, we'll get into how you can turn it off later. Um, eight seconds. And there you go. It'll give you an eight seconds notification if you want. Um, hold it down and release just like a stack mat. Boom, it's timing nice and big and stop. There you go. That is a fast three by three time. So when you stop, it's going to prompt you with the penalty you may want to add. And that just makes penalties a lot easier, which means people are more likely to be honest. So if you got a plus two, add the freaking plus two. We got the plus two. Nice. So if you actually click on this solve, you'll see the scramble nice and big. This is great for screenshotting and sending to your friends. Um, and you can change the penalty if you wanted to. But let's keep it at a plus two. Now, if you wish to fully simulate the competitive environment, you're probably going to want to do stack mat, right? So if you want to do that, you can see here, swipe up to add the solve, and you get this beautiful view where you can just type in the time. So let's say you got a 10.26. You can put a decimal, but actually you don't have to, and I'm just going to show you how that works, is it'll assume the last two digits are the decimal after the decimal. And that is how you do timer entry. Um, you can also swipe down to delete a solve and it'll ask you do you want to delete it you can delete it um also if you're doing times over a minute let's say this is this wouldn't be three by three but um you'd basically do something like this 123.64 if that makes sense so yeah let's say we start out with these two completely random times and we keep going let's enter something actually that's close to the target let's do 13.64 Boom. Now, interesting feature is there's a draw scramble, which is very nice. This is currently only for three by three. So if you don't have three by three, you won't have this feature, but all you have to do is tap on the scramble and it shows. Now there is an option to reset. And what this would do is this would clear all three of these times out. I'm not gonna do that right now. And there's also a new scramble option. Just boom, 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 generate. Um, there's also a help tab over here, which is going to explain literally everything I'm saying right now. Let's just finish up this average. Let's do a 12.33 and then let's do a 10. And what's going to happen is you've done five solves. You've done an average and somehow my intellect, I somehow just did an average that was literally 0.01 below the target. That was 100% by accident, but nice. Um, you beat the target by 0.01, so what's going to happen is you get a winning picture of some famous cuber. This is Keon Mansoor, um, and this is um, something you can change in your settings, actually. But there you go. You got 11.99, um, and it's a winning average, which is great. Um, you can click on any of these to see their scrambles. Try again. And now what you can do is you go to your session tab, and you can actually see this average here. And you can see its details. Okay, we got an 11.99 average. My target was 12, and it gives you all the info. You can click if you want to expand. Great, and that's where you get to see all the averages you've done. And it actually has this bar feature here, which highlights the amount of wins versus losses. And typically, you know your target's good when it's really pushing you. So 50% is a good amount. Now, if you're over here and you want to create a new session, so this is three by three. I actually have a few sessions going on right now. 
Um, let's say we want to create a new one. You just click new, you call it whatever. Let's call it four by four. Um, hopefully I don't already have a four by four session because that would mess it up. Um, and I don't. So it's going to start this new fresh four by four session. And basically it's going to automatically set your scrambling to four by four because it's smart. It knows. And yeah, there you go. You'd have four by four. And if you want to switch sessions, you just tap and choose and boom, there you go. Now, if you ever want to reset your session, you click this and it would reset your session. Let's not do that. And then if you want to delete the entire session, you can just click this X here, which I'm having trouble clicking because I'm not looking at the, okay, there we go. And that would delete your entire session. And uh, now it's gone, that's sad. And one last little thing, if you ever want to rename your session, you just double tap. That's a little small feature. So now let's take a look at the settings, what's going on here. Um, you can change your scramble type here. Um, and it'll show up right there. And you can actually change which cube you want to appear at the end. Um, I have a pretty limited list, but um, let's say you want me to appear, then you can do that. And at the end of your average, that'll be what shows up. There's also dark mode, which I highly prefer. It is just beautiful. Um, I really like it and it saves battery. So it's nice. This is what it actually looks like. And then you can also turn timing off or on. Um, if you know that you're submitting with StackMet and you don't want to start the timer, then you can do that. And pretty basic things. Do you want inspection? Do you want the voice? How long do you want to hold the timer for? Do you want it to update? I actually love doing the no update thing. That's a thing I don't see on mobile timers very often where it just says solve. And then you tap and it's the time you got. Um, I love that. And this is where you can change if it was mean of three, best of three, or average of five which is very important depending on the event you're doing, but it cannot be changed if you've started the average. So let's reset this and then now you could change that. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions, there is a contact form on the website. So you can head over to that or you can email compsimcubing at gmail.com directly. But yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Now let's check out what it looks like in action. <laughs> Yes.